And here is station number six. So I have a bungee cord and you can see that it has some elasticity to it. It will stretch. So I'm going to, this is the bungee cord. I'm going to put a weight on the end of it. And you notice the bungee cord stretches. All right, so this is similar to the other stations, but instead of the spring being compressed, we have something with springiness that's being stretched by this weight on the end. So you can picture that the bungee cord wants to get back to its unstretched length. What it's trying to do is get back to this length here. So you can kind of picture, since it's trying to get back to that unstretched length, it's pulling up on this weight to get back there. All right, so now, if I did the same thing with a rope, you wouldn't see the rope stretch, right? If I tied a rope to this and held it up. But you can imagine that the rope is going to stretch a small amount that you can't see. And because the rope is stretched, it's trying to get back to its unstretched position, so it's pulling up on the weight. This is similar to the table, right? You can't see the table get compressed when you put a weight on it, but you know it is. Um, and when it's compressed, it wants to get back to that uncompressed state. Same thing with string or rope or anything like that.